Hey everyone, I'm still in Austin, Texas, and I wanted to know if you ever feared taking your code base to other developers, or what if you had to switch developers? And uh, it's not like you're changing one developer within your team, but you actually have to change the majority, uh, maybe because you need to switch software houses or for any other reason. Indeed, that is not a great thing to do. But if you pay a little bit of attention and understand why that is, you can be prepared. And so here are the things you need to do. First of all, you need to understand that, especially if it's an undocumented code base, if you let another team work on it, it's a bit like a city planner who goes into a city, a big city, that they've never seen, uh, that does not have a map, and you tell them, fix this intersection, there's always traffic fix it in theory looks simple enough right there's traffic from this one side you make the traffic lights go a little longer perfect right but what ends up happening two blocks down the road is a totally different traffic jam and it's just a nightmare so in order to understand what even the traffic flows are who wants to go where when how do the various streets link up and interact. Well, in order to do that, you need to study that city for a little bit. And that's exactly what a developer does, especially if the code base is not very well documented, does not have tests, then that can happen very easily. And that's simply because it's all about the business logic. It's not like there's a bug and the developer sees right away, oh, that's not how it's supposed to work. The developer will go in, will change something as you ask them to, but will not know essentially, that that is breaking something somewhere else because it is business logic. It's not breaking the code anywhere else per se. It is breaking the logic of the system. And so when that happens, you need to go back, fix another thing, keep that into account. And that, that builds up knowledge over time with the developer. They're asking you what's that supposed to mean. And so number one, you need to understand that it will take some time depending on the size of the application and the quality of the code base. It will take anywhere between two weeks, three months, sometimes even longer for developers to really understand the code base. When that happens, you need to give them as much background as possible about how the application is supposed to work. Help them understand who the customers are, what their pain points are, what the user journey is, what the industry is, as much as you possibly can. So that is about the business logic. But then what about uh, the code itself? Well, here it would be great if you first let your existing developers finish up half done features because there's nothing worse than finishing something up that you haven't started then have an independent party do a code review. We can do that, for example. Onboard your new team, and then start with simple features, test a lot, and reduce technical debt if you have any. This unfortunately means that at the beginning, you know you can't rely on estimations. It's just not possible. But again, this will get better over time, and then you'll have a team as you had. Just understand this is going to happen. It always does and whatever you can do to help your team understand the business logic is going to improve everything and if your old team do everything you can to have them stick around and be ready to answer any questions help with setting up the code base help with any other questions that people might have and that is the smoothest handover you can possibly have well thank you